Hello there, welcome everybody. It's uh, Don here once more with another uh, box trick illusion to uh, add to your collection. Um, I'll show you how to go about making uh, making a, uh, a box like this. Um, I'll give you all the dimensions and, and everything you need to know about making something like this. I'll show, I'll demonstrate the uh, the trick to you. Uh, in the meantime, uh, please subscribe to the channel or uh, click the like button and uh, you'll be informed when new uh, videos come along. So I'll just demonstrate this. So we've got a, a, a black box with a front on. Take the front off and we re reveal just uh, an empty box inside. OK, and uh, there are two holes on the side big enough for this <laughs> stick to go through. Honestly, it does go through. There we go. Like so. So what we do is put the front of the box back on like so. And I'm going to have to stand up and show you what happens next. If I can find the hole. There we go. sits through there like that and then we get uh, a ring or a, some round object that we throw down onto the box take the front of the box off and there we reveal it's uh, stuck onto the onto the stick so that's the that's the trick okay i think it's a very effective uh, little illusion so we need to know how to go about making it so the rest of the video will be uh, how i make it okay let's make a start then uh, we need two pieces of cardboard uh three millimeters thick if you can get three millimeter three millimeters if you haven't, you can stick three cornflake packet cardboard pieces together. That will make up three millimetres. Uh, but ideally, if you can get uh, a thick cardboard like this from uh, your local stationers, uh, two pieces need to be uh, two inches, sorry, five inches by seven inches. OK, so two nominal f uh, numbers there, quite easy. Um, if you're working in metric, that's 127 by 178 millimetres. So we need two of those. And we need two slightly narrow ones. So we're making a box. So the box is going to be quite narrow like that. OK. So these two pieces are, if I can find the sizes, uh, three inches by seven inches. Uh, 76 millimeters by 178 uh, on these pieces measure uh, 3 16th of an inch which is uh, four or five millimeters can't remember uh, in from the edge okay I'll explain in one moment and this is going to be the, f the front so we need a, a border all the way around the edge uh, half an inch down this side, 12 millimetres, and five eighths, uh, no, three quarters that side, which is 18, 19, can't remember, Nine, eight, 18 millimetres, I believe. <laughs> okay, so we're going to cut, uh, and uh, I just used a, 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 paint, a paint pot lid just to uh, make a radius on the corners there, just to make it look a little more theatrical when we've finished. So we need to cut this shape out. OK, and then we need to assemble. So the front, when, when this is, piece is cut out, it's going to sit slightly back from the front. It's, it's going to be on that. To uh, pencil line there that we measured three sixteenths back, so it's going to be like that. Okay, 
It's because we need uh, to make a track for when we put the, uh, the, the front on, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So all we need to do now is make a box, four-sided box with uh, that at the front, that set back, the back just an ordinary 90 degree uh, um, join there. And then I've got a, a base for it. We can just stick it on a base just to keep it nice and square. So once we stuck, stuck that onto the base, it will be uh, uh, naturally square. And uh, you can have what size base you like. I've just made it six by four and a half inches or 152 by 119 millimeters. So there we go. Four pieces, five pieces of wood. Wood? Cardboard. Five pieces of cardboard. I'll cut the necessary pieces out and stick them together. Then we can go on to the next step. Okay, so we've got the box put together and I have a confession to make. I made a mistake. Uh, we need to cut the top part off. It's not, not one hole cut out out of the, uh, the front there. Uh, we have to, to, to cut the, the top, otherwise the top won't, uh, won't fit in. Uh, I hadn't realised that. So that's, that's the shape. You can see the shape of the, the front that we need to have. <clears throat> and then I've put two strips on either side so that we can put the uh, slide the front in like so. So that, that's what we're trying to achieve, this, this um, front sliding in and out like that. And I've also put two small holes. Now this will of course depend on what you use for um, for your uh, uh, piece that slides through. I, I've used a, um, a barbecue stick, so it's a very small hole. I don't need a, a large hole there, and that will go through like that. I think that's good enough. Maybe something a little bit bigger diameter, but uh, that's for you to decide. Whatever you've got lying around <laughs> that is round and that will, will fit through like that. Uh, I've also chosen these cogs that are quite quite thick actually uh, to uh, to represent what's what will sit on my barbecue stick like this. Uh, so again, it's it's up to you what you use. Uh, you could use uh, uh, those small like key ring circles, which don't take up much room. But uh, I thought for for a slightly larger uh, cabinet if you like then uh, I think maybe this was a little more suitable now then it's the back of the front <laughs> it's the back part that uh, where the trick is uh, made so I've made a, a, a square of um, cardboard that fits within the width of the uh, the front of the box like so. So again you could make it whatever size you like. You could make it smaller if you like. Uh, and then a, a recess in there so that that slips in there. So whatever you use then obviously uh, that, that will be smaller or bigger um, accordingly. So that's what we want to happen. And it needs to be hinged and all I've done is put some uh, masking tape uh, as, as a hinge for, the, for this to move in and out just slightly. And I've made it quite thick uh, off, off the, uh, the, the back so that my cogs will slip in there. If, you, if you're only using a thin um, key ring then obviously you won't need this to be so thick. Okay so I, I've got it that thick because of uh, what I'm using. So th this back part is all up to you, <laughs> depending on what you use. But basically that, that's what you need. Um, a flap, if you like, that, that just moves in and out. And this distance that it moves, if I just put this in here. Where are we? 
is so w when it's at its lowest so it, that that's that's in its normal position and when it comes out to here oh my thing's fallen out <laughs> that's it put that back in so when that falls down when i put my barbecue stick in it's exactly the right if i could see it's exactly the right um place for the barbecue stick to go straight through uh my cog the the, the holes on the side and the cog all line up if you see what i mean when this is down all three holes line up so i can uh, push my barbecue stick in quite quickly and then all you do when you take the well with the other cog oh, it's inside you uh <laughs> you throw this other cog onto the barbecue stick as though you're push put throwing this uh, uh onto it uh, you just throw it into the recess at the back there like so that's all and then when you take the front off push that up so that it's away from the cardboard and lift that up and you've got your cog then on the barbecue stick i hope that is explanation enough um, i'm not sure if i've explained that properly but uh, this is all this is what you need it's this back part that is the important thing the rest of it is just a, a, a an easy box to make from cardboard uh, but it's this back part that is probably the most complicated so the depth is the depth of what you're using as a as a as a circle if you like and the amount that it moves away like that determines where the holes line up okay so that when you push this back it just pulls the cog away from this recess and leaves the cog on the barbecue stick <laughs> yes no yes i think so so all we've got to do now is make it look pretty so i'll paint the uh, barbecue stick black and the inside silver so that it uh, stands out quite a bit more and uh, put some nice glittery stuff on the front make it look a little bit uh, more theatrical and that will be it so i'll do all that i'll come back and i'll show you the finished item okay so there we are put a bit of glitter on the front door there um, makes it look a little bit a uh, bit better uh, i sprayed it red inside rather than silver mainly because i didn't have any silver paint i only had red <laughs> so that uh, determined that uh, so i think this is a, a very easy um, illusion to make that's the it's only just this back part that's uh, that would cause any problem and I think it's a very effective little uh, little trick. So uh, I, I won't demonstrate it again, but uh, there we go. That's, um, well, I don't know what we'd call it. What should we call it? Uh, <laughs> wheel on a stick <laughs> trick. Uh, something like that. Okay, so uh, have a go yourself. Try to uh, Try to make something like it. Uh, let me know how you get on in the comments. Uh, in the meantime, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, there will be lots more um, ideas and uh, <clears throat> uh, magic tricks that I shall make. <clears throat> I stay away from playing. I, I just, I just don't like card tricks. <laughs> so there won't be anything to do with playing cards. Uh, only just, um, you know, uh, magic boxes and. Uh, stuff like that if you look at my other videos you'll see see the type of thing that i'm doing so in the meantime thank you for very thank you for watching thank you very much 
and uh, I'll see you in the next video.